Hi, I'm Anthony, and thank you for joining us here today at Cyberry.it. Today we're going to be talking about CPU sockets and features and types, and I'm your local subject matter expert here for A+, so let's go ahead and get started. So we've talked a little bit about different types of CPUs, uh, plastic dual inline cartridge, as well as single edge cartridges, and we've also talked about pin grid arrays and LAN grid arrays and the differences between the two. Now, for the a exam in particular, there are certain types of actual CPU sockets that we need to know. And the two major manufacturers of the sockets that we need to know are going to be Intel and AMD. So in this next couple of videos, we're just going to go through a couple of those different types of sockets so that we know some of their specifications, pin counts, etc., and get a good overview of the different types, especially the ones that we'll need to know for the a exam. We're going to go ahead and start with actual Intel type sockets. One of the first Intel type sockets that we need to know is going to be the LGA-775. LGA stands for LAN Grid Array. And we've talked a little bit earlier that LAN Grid Array actually means that the pins that the CPU uses to connect are on the socket itself. Now, when we say socket, what are we talking about? Well, the actual socket on our motherboard for CPU is something like this. It's the actual location where our CPU connects with our motherboard. That's what we're going to call the socket. Now, this socket is not a LAN grid array socket, but we do have one on this motherboard here. Now, as we can see, our LAN grid array socket has the pins for our CPU on the motherboard itself. This makes it a little bit easier to install this type of CPU. However, we do have to keep in mind that if we destroy or disrupt the pins that are on the socket that's on the motherboard, we may actually have to replace our motherboard. With this LAN Grid Array 775, how many pins does this have? Well, this number at the end helps us a bit. Intel was nice and they, gave, they numbered the LGA 775 the number of pins. So, it has 775 pins on the socket. Now, this is the socket itself, not talking about the different CPUs that plug into the socket, but 775 pins is what we're looking at. Now, the LGA 775 is about uh, 2006 when it was released, so it's a bit older type socket, but we do still see them. Uh, 2006 wasn't too long ago, but in computer years, we can consider that a while ago. Some of the type of computers that we'll see with this socket may be late Pentium 4s, as well as some Pentium Ds and late Celerons. There may be other types of boards that we'll see, or other type of processors that we'll see that use this socket, but those are going to be some of the general ones, the late Pentium 4s, Pentium Ds, and late Celerons. Next up, we have our LGA 1366 socket, similar to the previous LGA. The LGA 1366 socket has, in its name, 1,366 pins. Again, it's a LAN grid array, so that means that the pins for this socket are on the board itself rather than the CPU, and we need to be careful when we're installing the CPU onto the board. This socket was released around 2008 and is <coughs> came obviously came after the LGA 775. Certain types of processors that we'll see using this socket could include the Core i7-900 series, as well as some of our Xeon processors. So as we can see, our LGA 1366, about 2008, 1,366 pins, and certain processors such as our Core i7-900 series and our Xeon. Moving on to our next socket, we have our LGA-1156. With 1,156 pins, this socket was released in about, in about 2009, and again is a LAN grid array, so the pins are on the motherboard. We have 1,156 pins. And when we're talking about what type of processors use this socket, uh, we're talking about some of the first gen Core i3s, i5s, and some i7s. So this one is a bit after our uh, LGA 1366. For our next Intel processor socket type, we're now at LGA 1555. This was released about 2011. And as our name helps us out with, our number of pins, all right, 1,555. 
Some of the types of processors that we'll see using this socket are our second gen, also known as our Sandy Bridge, second bridge architecture core i3s, i5, and i7s. So again, LGA 1555 was about 2011, 1,555 pins, and we're going to be using uh, second gen i3, i5, and i7 type processors on it.